And now I'd like to invite Dr. Amand Rahim, uh, Chief of Staff of the KRG Cabinet, to uh, give the keynote speech of the conference. Dr. Amand. I'm a I'm a Devon Ibarest, 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 I'm a Devon من امرو لا بري بريس جنابي جيغري سروش انجماني وزيران كا قبا طالباني هولا دم كا وتي بريزيان بغين ام كونفرنسا كا بدا خو بريزان بو هيسر قالبوني لا هولير نيتواني امادي كون كونفرنسا كا هبي و هيواي همو سركوت نيكيش دخوازم بو ام كونفرنسا و هيوا دارم جاواز لا تنحق سكردن لسر كيشكان و خصنا روي كيشكان و خصنا روي هو كاركاني روداني ام كيشيا ام کنفرانس با کمالک در انجام چاره سر و کوتای پی بی تاوکو لسر همو استکانی پارلمان و حکومت و دسلات دادوری و تناند لسر استی همو دسلات کان بتوان ری صدور بیجری لو چاره سران لبر اوی او تارکی برس جگری سر گوزیران بزمان انگلیسی بو نه چارم من با بزمان انگلیسی او تارکی برس ان پیشکش با برستم کا Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here with you all and to speak before the distinguished audience. I would like to thank and extend my thanks to IUIS and particularly to Dr. Bilal for his warm welcome and invitation to this event. I am here on behalf of His Excellency, the Deputy Prime Minister of the Kurusan Regional Government, Mr. Qubat Talabani. Mr. Talabani wishes that he could be here in person, but unfortunately, he has to tend to urgent matters with respect to the Kurdistan region's current crisis. Mr. Talabani has asked me to deliver his speech. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to start by extending my thanks to IUIS for hosting this important event. The timing is critical. It is the KRG's belief that the biggest threat facing Kurdistan today is the economic economics crisis. ISIS remains a real and present danger, but our brave Peshmerga are, with the support of the international community, able for now to keep Kurdistan safe. But our ability to ultimately win the war and keep Kurdistan safe and stable depends on our ability to manage this economic crisis. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are all aware, currently oil and gas is central to the survival of Kurdistan's economy. It is therefore necessary for us to discuss ways in which we can create and sustain an efficient, modern and sustainable economy through the oil and gas sector. The current challenges that the KRG and the region face is not just a byproduct of today. Some of what we face is the result of many years of inefficiency, mismanagement, and structural defects. This crisis is a result of many factors. First, Baghdad cutting our budget in 2014. War against ISIS. Kurdistan welcoming and ser servicing 1.8 million refugees and IDPs and most critically, the continuing decline of global oil prices. We must, as a government, be honest with our people and ourselves. We have also taken many factors for granted and have not taken the need for reform seriously. Until now, we are now without fault. Unlike other countries, however, we don't have certain levers to manage our economy. We cannot print money, 
We cannot borrow enough to be impactful. We cannot devalue our currency. We have not received, nor do we expect to receive global bailout assistance, as was the case in Greece and other countries when their economics failed. We are alone, but we are not shying away from our responsibilities. As a government, we are facing our challenges head on. We understand that we must carry out effective austerity measures. We also know the austerity measures must come alongside real reform and greater transparency. Our reform agenda includes increasing access to information regarding Kurdistan's oil and non-oil revenues. We also intend to make access to information regarding our expenditure more easily and publicly available. In fact, we have worked with the KRG Human Rights Board, international law firms, and other government bodies to draft regulation according to the law number 11, 2013, right to access information in the Kurdistan region, Iraq. We hope to issue this new regulation in the coming weeks to provide a transparent and legal mechanisms so that citizens can obtain information that they are entitled to. We must be open with our public regarding the financial state of our Kurdistan, regardless of how good or bad it may be. We have agreed to set up an executive board to oversee different sources of income and revenues from oil and gas operations. The cabinet has tasked the chief of staff to the cabinet with heading this trans transitional board until the KRG oil and gas revenue fund is established. During our meeting of yesterday, Council of Ministers meeting number 11, it was decided that a committee will be crea created to oversee all income of the KRG, oil and non-oil revenues. The minister that will form the committee will be the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Housing and Reconstruction, Minister of Transportation, and the Minister of Agriculture. We are also seeking to bring international firms to audit our oil, gas, and energy sectors. Currently, renowned third-party international auditors are reviewing the refinery contracts at Kalak and Bazian. These steps aimed to increasing transparency are intent to strengthen trust in our government and grant our support for our austerity measures. Once our political situation improves and our parliament resumes its functions, we will work to quickly establish. First, the Kurdistan Exploration and Production Company, KEPCO the Kurdistan Oil Marketing Organization, COMO, Kurdistan Oil Trust Organization, KOTO. Work is underway to draft laws and regulations regarding the establishment of these institutions. Let us be, let us be very clear, austerity is not a reform at all. But reform without austerity will not plug our monthly 380 billion Iraqi dinar deficit. With oil price of $28, we cannot sustain our current expenditure levels. We must withhold, but withhold fairly and justly. We have decided as a government to limit our involvement in certain key sectors of our economy, especially in the fuel, electricity, and electricity sectors. We are working towards reducing and ultimately eliminating fuel subsidies eliminating our dependence on diesel to fill our power stations and increasing our natural gas output. We also want to encourage non-governmental non-government, participation in the fuel market and allow healthy and fair competition to drive down fuel costs for consumers. We are working towards the same goal in the electricity sector, increase in areas such as electricity distribution and collections. We have also begun taking steps to make our payroll system electronic, thus working towards eliminating cost employees and those earning 
more than one paycheck. We are also reviewing our pensions programs to ensure that only the real pensioners earn government pensions. All our austerity measures will be aimed to limiting, to, to limiting the pain of those at the bottom end of the pay uh, scale. Our people have been very passionate thus far. We are proud of them. We are proud of our brave Peshmergas, and we will do everything we can at the government to do right by them, to serve them, and to lead Kurdistan out of this crisis. It will be difficult, it will be painful, but with political support and with genuine intent, we will manage this crisis and put Kurdistan back into sound economic footing and prepare ourselves for when the economy improves because it will eventually. Thank you very much.